Indian motorcycle market has gone through a huge metamorphosis over the past decade or so. Gone are the days when there were very few players in the market and options in the affordable performance category were few and far. Enthusiasts today have nearly 10 motorcycles in the 200 to 250cc category and nearly as many in the 2 to 2.5 lakh price bracket. There are body style options as well. You have nakeds, you have cruisers, you have classic motorcycles and you have entry level sports bikes. Bearing in mind the number of options available in the market, it has become that much more difficult for manufacturers to leave a lasting impression. Benelli launched the Leoncino 500 earlier this year and now they have brought in this, the Leoncino 250. The question is, can the baby Leoncino elbow its way into a tightly packed segment and make space for itself? We're going to take it for a spin and find out. In the design department, the baby Leoncino silhouette is identical to its larger sibling. The shape of the fuel tank is somewhat similar too. The alloy wheel design, the stubby tail section and the floating rear mudguard all make the relationship with the 500 amply evident. It is only when you look closer that you will spot the difference. In place of the round headlight, the Leoncino 250 gets an oval shaped one. The front mudguard is larger as is the exhaust. Pay attention to the details and you will notice that the upside down forks are narrower and the disc brakes are smaller too. At 2030mm in length and 1115mm in height, it is also smaller in size. Riding posture is upright and the wide handlebar ensures a comfortable posture at least for the upper body. Given its smaller proportion and the rear set foot pegs, the lower body can feel a bit cramped, especially for taller riders. The stubby subframe and the tail section does make the Leon Chino look stylish, but it also robs the pinion of some space. Neon Chino 250's all-digital instrument cluster is neat and easy to read even on the move. The screen does have a lot of negative space at the top right and left corners. This, we feel, could have been better utilized by displaying the time and fuel efficiency. The Leon Chino 250 comes with a 249cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled motor that has been derived from the TNT25. Now, this one makes 25.4 bhp and 21 nm of torque. These figures aren't quite class leading. The KTM 250 Duke and the Honda CB300R produce better output. And that shows in the way the Leon Chino 250 performs. Acceleration isn't quite zippy. The engine moves up the rev range in a rather relaxed manner, which is great for inexperienced riders. But if you're looking for thrill and performance, the Leon Chino 250 is going to leave you wanting. This motor isn't the smoothest one out there either. Vibrations on the foot pegs and the tank are felt about 6 6 and a half thousand RPM, and that can leave your feet rather numb after a long ride. The beauty of this engine, however, is in its tractability. You can do speeds of about 30 35 kmph in the fifth gear without any knocking, and that works really well in the city, especially in slow moving traffic. More importantly, it doesn't demand too many gear shifts, which is great because the six speed transmission, although precise, isn't the slickest out there. One of the biggest strengths of the Leon Chino 250 is its ride handling balance. Sure, the suspension setup is on the firmer side and it does make the ride a little antsy, especially if the road is uneven, but it isn't something that you can't live with. In fact, it's a small price to pay for good high-speed stability and positive handling. Thanks to the wide handlebar, it is easy to lean the bike into corners and the grippy Metzler tyres are a huge confidence booster as well. Although the front disc is marginally smaller than the 250 Duke, at the back, the Leon Chino 250 gets the biggest disc in its class. Stopping power is good, but the feel from the brakes could have been a bit better. The Leon Chino 250 is quite a mixed bag. While we were impressed by the motor's tractability and the Leon Chino 250's ride handling balance, it does lose a few points in terms of performance and refinement. But the biggest fly in the ointment for the Leon Chino 250 has to be its price. Brought into India as a CKD, it is priced at about 2.5 lakh rupees. At that price point, it goes against some capable, locally manufactured products like the KTM 390 Duke and the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. In fact, the Honda CB300R, which is also brought into India as a CKD, is even priced lesser than that. 
So unless Benelli increases localization and reduces the price of the Leoncino 250, it isn't the best way to spend your money.